Trump's core support in the primaries, before he was the Republican nominee, came from the most secular parts of the Republican coalition, lapsed Catholics, cultural evangelicals. And there was a lot more resistance, and I think especially resistance to his sort of more tribal and identitarian rhetoric from religious conservatives than there was from secular conservatives. Now in the end, most religious conservatives went along with him because they feared liberals more than they feared Trump. Um, but the truth is that you know, Trump wouldn't have won if, in certain ways, institutional Christianity hadn't already declined even within the conservative coalition. When people don't have sort of mediating institutions to identify with, church, community, you know, local civic association, all of these things that have declined in America, they're more likely to identify with sort of as partisans, as Republicans or conservatives or Democrats or liberals, and they're also more likely to be tribal around race and ethnicity. And that's, you know, there's a sense in which identity politics is what a post-religious politics looks like. I don't think continued secularization is permanent and irreversible. I think there's a lot of room in American life for churches to make a difference and win converts in a way that they aren't doing right now.